What is up, you guys? The Dominator, Dominic Forest, back with you guys here today to do my No Mercy uh, predictions. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, just announced we will have Elias versus Apollo Crews on the kickoff show. Um, I mean, I think a, that's a hard one. I'm going to go with Elias because they've been pushing them pretty hard, and I think they're... And Apollo's not really doing anything. Um, he really shouldn't have left NXT. Like, by now, he probably would have been, been uh, good. But um, I think Elias is going to win. Cruiserweight Championship match. Neville, the champion, versus... Oh, it's Enzo Amore. Uh, I'm going to go with Enzo Amore on this one. I think if one of the titles is going to change, it's Enzo Amore. I mean, they've been pushing him pretty hard. So, yeah, why not? All right, moving on, we have the Tag Team Championship on the line. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, the champions, versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this isn't really a hard one, but I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Uh, I, I just don't want them to flip-flop the titles as, uh, at this pay-per-view as much as they've been doing. I don't, Honestly, I don't think they will, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, moving on, we have the women's championship match. Now we have Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax versus Emma versus Bailey. And since we're only like two minutes into the video, I'm just gonna say who gets eliminated first. So first, I think I gotta go with Emma being eliminated first. I mean, um, what's that? I'm gonna skip that. I don't know what that was. Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. All right, so first of all, I think Emma's going to get eliminated. I mean, she started the women's revolution. Uh, maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I think Emma does because she's not that, like, she's talented, but she's like, she just doesn't have that much momentum, you know what I'm saying? All right, and then I think that uh, Sasha Banks. Because, uh, I don't know, I mean, Sasha Banks is starting to run out of steam, I think, at least that's what I think. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with Sasha Banks, and then uh, I'm going to have Nia Jax be eliminated, um, because Alexa Bliss and Bailey have to get through her, so I think that she's going to... Um, are gonna work together and then they're gonna eliminate her. Um, all right, and then uh, it's gonna come down to Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. Who's gonna win? Um, I'm gonna go with Bailey. I mean, she just returned on Monday Night Raw, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Bailey, but just by a hair. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the title flip flop against uh, when uh, Alexa Bliss gets a rematch because she is very talented. Uh, one of the best women's wrestlers on the um, roster. Moving on, we have John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Um, who's the big dog? Who's WWE is it? Um, oh, I forgot a couple matches. I'll go back to those in a second. I'll, I'll go back to those in a second. But uh, John Cena versus Roman Reigns. This is one of the biggest matches of the year. Uh, and it's got some pretty good hype. Uh, this is a hard one. Roman Reigns, John Cena. They want to put Roman Reigns over, but John Cena has all this stuff going on. And you know they like to put over the younger guy. Now, I don't want Roman to win. I Honestly, I want John Cena to win because I love John Cena. Um, you know, he's been my favorite since I started watching wrestling. Well, not my favorite, but one of my favorites when I started watching wrestling. Um, and he's just really good, really talented on the mic. Roman, I mean, he's, obviously he's talented if he's, they're pushing him so hard, but I, I won't see him to win, but sadly, I'm going to go with the Roman Reigns to win this one. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be like, um, just going to be like when he beat The Undertaker. So yeah, moving on, uh, I, I don't know how I skipped over these matches. We have Finn Balor. Not Demon, guys, which I'm kind of mad about because it's a special little pay-per-view. Uh, he should be dressing up, but Finn, or Bray Wyatt wants the real Finn Balor. 
So, Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. I think I'm going to give it to Bray because, obviously, Finn Balor uh, would win if he's in the demon attire. And I think Bray Wyatt does need a little push. Finn Balor, he's been fighting Elias a lot. But, I mean, you need to push Finn up to the upper card more, I think. So, giving him a win again, or losing uh, to Bray Wyatt and ending this food, I can't talk, feud possibly, can boost him up to the main event card and so i'm gonna go with bray but finn balor i could see a finn balor samoa joe feud from nxt again uh what other feuds could there be um i mean there's a lot of possibilities he could move into the intercontinental title scene i could see that facing the miz but moving on speaking of the miz we have the intercontinental championship match we have the miz the champion versus jason jordan's Kurt Angle's son, apparently. Um, you know, it's a storyline. It's WWE. What do you expect from it? Um, so, yeah. This one's kind of hard for me because they're really, 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 like, really, really, really pushing. My dog's barking while I'm trying to film. Anyways, they're really pushing uh, Jason Jordan to the top. And Miz is one of the top guys on Monday Night Raw, to be honest. Um, he's really good on the mic. He's a really good wrestler. I think just barely the Miz gets the win with the help of the Miz Taraj. Uh, of course, I don't think Maurice will be at ringside because she's pregnant. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Miz on this one because, I don't know, he's champion, champion advantage. He, if he gets disqualified, then he's still champion. So, yeah, he has championship advantage. He has um, he has the Miz Taraj. I don't think Jason Jordy... I can't talk. Sorry, guys. I don't think Jason Jordan is quite ready to fill the main event scene of Monday Night Raw. But I, I could see him in the future. The guy's really talented. Maybe not the main event, but definitely the mid card he could take over. Uh, the Miz, I just don't see him dropping the title to him. Moving on to the main event of the evening. We will have the monster among men, Braun Strowman versus... Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Of course, Brock Lesnar, the champion. Now, this is really hard because this could go either way. They, Like I said, with most of the guys on this card, they've been really, 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 really pushing him. Brock has been getting his butt whipped uh, every single week by Braun Strowman that he's been there. He's just been getting wrecked. Um, so, who do I pick? Lesnar is, and like Heyman's, Heyman's even been admitting in this match, Brock Lesnar is the underdog in this match. I mean, Braun Strowman topples over him. So, I want Braun to win. Brock's run with the title hasn't been good. Honestly, I don't think any of his runs with the title were good, and 14 when he introduced the WWE champion the new logo that we have today uh, I thought that was an okay run, but he just does not defend the title uh, Actually in this run with the Universal Championship He actually has been defending the title a lot more. So I'm actually glad and surprised with that kind of um, But Braun Strowman he's been wrecking people since day one. I mean he came in and beat up Roman Reigns on his first night. Um, and it's almost been a year since Braun's been in the WWE. And look where he's been. I'm going to go with... This is a hard one, guys. I am going to go with... Brock Lesnar. Now, here's why... Brock Lesnar has experience. Braun's only been around for like a year, okay? Which is a lot, not a lot of experience, but he has some. Uh, Brock Lesnar, he's just... I don't see... I think it's kind of like, eh. I think... and Okay, this is how I see them booking Braun Strowman. So, rumor has it they're bringing back TV14 to WWE. Probably not, but there's a rumor. So, if that happens... Uh, I could definitely see Braun Strowman being, like, if they bring back the Hardcore title, that would be awesome. I would love that. Um, I could see Braun Strowman being the first Hardcore champion. But that's the only thing I could think. 
future wise uh I maybe have him start out as the intercontinental champion for like half a year uh just wrecking everybody and then have him lose to someone and then after that push him to the main event again so yeah i'm gonna go with brock lesnar on this one guys he just has more experience he has Heyman in the corner Braun's a little too fresh and young but yeah th that'll definitely be a close match Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Wrestling Amino at the Domineers Toy Show. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Can't wait for No Mercy. It looks like a pretty promising cards and ca cards card. Uh, and I will have my live reactions up. Uh, I think it will be maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. I think it will probably be Monday, most likely. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to check on when I did my, when I upload, I think it's the night of, maybe, I'm not for sure, we'll figure it out, it's either on Sunday night or Monday morning, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, follow me on Wrestling Amino, at the Dominator's Toy Show, as I thank you guys for watching, Deep Flow out.